Hi friends, today's book is Big Ideas of Buster Bickles by David Wasson. So here's our end paper. It looks like he might go on an adventure today. The Big Ideas of Buster Bickles by Dave Wasson. From the moment he woke up, Buster Bickles was full of big ideas. Hey mom, look at, I'm a flesh eating robot. Mom, look out, laundry monster. Hey mom, x-ray vision. Buster, stop fooling around or you'll miss the bus, mom yelled. Wait. He made it just in the nick of time for show and tell. How does it look like show and tell is going? Uh-oh, all of his friends are laughing at him. He looks pretty sad. No one seems to like my ideas, Mom, Buster said sadly. Why don't we visit Uncle Roswell? He'll understand. He always has lots of big ideas. Ah, uh, buns and burners, shouted Uncle Roswell. Is something wrong, Buster asked. Not just wrong, his uncle exclaimed. It's stupendously, horrendously, tremendously wrong. Come this way. Whoa, what is that thing? Asked Buster. I call it the what if machine, his uncle proclaimed. It makes anything you can imagine into reality. But I need some big ideas to test it. And I can't think of any. What would some of your big ideas be? Say, you wouldn't have any big ideas, would you? Asked his uncle. Do I have ideas? Boy, do I ever, Buster said. As Buster began, the machine kicked into gear. Blunk, zerk, berserk, toot. What if I had a giant mustache? Or were we were invisible? Or we could walk on the ceiling? or it was raining guinea pigs. <laughs> or I had a hat made of cheese. Or we had little tiny heads. Or we were wild monkeys. Or we traveled by rocket-powered cow. Then Buster had an even bigger idea. What if the world was made of ice cream? Ooh, that would be delicious. And all at once it was. There was even a caramel river. And then Buster wondered, what if our neighborhood was filled with robot dinosaurs? Extraordinary, exclaimed Uncle Roswell. I wonder if they're friendly. Smash, crunch, wham. They weren't. What if, machine, get us away from here as soon as possible, Buster yelled. Yikes, gulped Uncle Roswell. Now they were in space, far away from the robot monsters. I wish we were back home, Buster shouted, but the machine just sat there. The what-if machine had drifted too far away, said Uncle Roswell. It can't hear us. Buster had to have a big idea and fast. What if I had a really long arm? He turns the machine off. And suddenly everything was back to normal. Brilliant, stupendous, you saved us, Uncle Roswell said after the smoke had cleared. If there's anything I can do for you, Buster, just ask. Well, said Buster, actually there might be. He took Uncle Roswell's machine to show and tell. And from that day forward, nobody ever laughed at Buster's big ideas again.
If you have time today, maybe you should think of some of your big ideas and write them down or draw what they might look like. Talk to you soon. Bye.